Hey, all you world shakers. Yeah, I'm back. Uh, I got something I wanted to show you here. This is my latest development on this machine. It's got a hoverboard motor on it for a drive. And it's got a washing machine motor on top of that. And uh, it's an 18 pole. Uh, washing machine motor. It's been rewired. Now it's uh, got nine poles. Well, let's see how, how it's got two phases. Excuse me. I'm, it's got it's a three phase motor, but it's got uh, two sets of nine. Yeah, there we go. Two sets of nine. So it's putting out uh, pretty good voltage, and it's all and I'm getting some fair amps right now ain't got it hooked up to nothing except a 24 volt battery to run the uh the three phase motor control which you know is on standby right here but anyway he's hooked up there i just thought i'd show you people just what it's capable of now it's got one capacitor on it to steady everything and it's a oh uh, right there 300 volt dc uh, and it's three phase DC uh, rectifier there. That's wind for uh, wind power, but it works really good for these things, experimental, because it'll take a lot of voltage and surges and that kind of stuff and keep on ticking. I've got two of them. I, I really romped the heck out of them and neither one of them's burned out they're they're both in a very reliable little box i uh, got them on amazon a little upside down but they had my initials on it so i had to go with it you figure that one out yeah all right anyway enough john let me show you what she'll do and we'll do it in real quick order Seventy-five. She's starting to eat the batteries a bit. It likes electricity. So far, I've not hooked it up to get it to see if it'll recharge itself. I don't think it will, but to give it time. We'll figure them out, maybe. Anyway, it'll work good for boosting my uh, battery system. It's running off of the solar. It's not real loud, and it'll put out enough voltage to satisfy the 24-volt system in my trailer. During the daytime, cloudy days, it'll run off of my solar panel directly and feed the battery system. Anyway, that's my story sticking to it. Anyway, there's my new project, people. Uh, yeah, I think it's got potential. It's just what I'm tr been kind of throw, trying to throw together, you know. Anyway, leaning in that direction. I had to grab this little guy. It just seemed like the thing to do. Now, I wanted to give a, put a word in for this monster. I'm experimenting with it. Seems like the the grinder motor bench grinder doesn't have enough uh cojones to turn that big dog yeah so i've got another one coming i'm gonna take this in and put it on something else 
but I've got another uh, motor coming and it's going to be even better it's smaller than this one yeah and it's I think uh, eight pole but uh, it should have the potential of running that little motor anyway uh, yeah that in there is uh, like I say that's an 18 pole where this in here is 36 yeah, and it, it just creates too much drag. Um, the cogging, I think, has a lot to do with it not wanting to to turn. And uh, I even put my treadmill motor on it. That's a 100, 100 volt. I'm going to rectify some 110. Throw it through a rectifier and just feed that thing just to see how fast it'd spin it up. And I still might. But... Uh, I was trying to feed, trying to feed it 24 volts and get it to spin it up, and it still just didn't want to get it up and at any decent RPM. So, anyway, that's how we figure out what works and what don't. Well, all you world shakers, this is Uncle Dean coming at you from the Boar's Nest, the new improved Boar's Nest. Yeah, you can figure that part out too. Anyways, uh. Yeah, it's all good. Low batteries. Yeah, I like it. Got a little vibration to it because I didn't get that hub exactly centered on the hub, uh, hub uh, hoverboard motor. But everything is trued right down to it. Within a uh, two ten thousandths of an inch. You can see that there's very little play between the pickups and the, or very little gap that changes between the pickups and the magnets. So, yeah, it's a good constant voltage coming out of it. We've got a mind of our own, and I think you've got the charging potential. Puts out good at low voltage, and that's, or at low RPM, and that's big deal for what I want. I want something that will run on uh, 12 volts and charge the heck out of 24. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Shake the world and make it yours. See you next time, people.